Welcome back to Rancho Del Arroyo. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Yesterday took a lot out of me. When we got super close to that down potential, I guess you could kind of consider it a rare Iberian wolf. And we took the shot and I hit him in the brain. That was very, very devastating in all honesty. It was very tough to be able to continue on and keep on hunting after that moment there because I've seen mythical gray Iberian wolves before and I always thought like, oh man, that's so cool. I really want to get it. But to even imagine of a nine is just, I was blown out of the water and then we had the opportunity to take it down with a bow and we messed it up. That was a pretty tough day for me. I took off a couple of days because I really needed to get some more rest. I mean, you guys don't understand. I spent almost three hours of real time trying to get in position, trying to track down that wolf and figure out which direction he's going to go next. And then we finally have him less than 25 yards away and we choke on the shot. Anyways, I woke up this morning with some amazing news and that is my youngest brother shot one of his biggest, coolest bucks ever of his life. And I was so pumped. He told me the entire story and man, it was epic. I'm going to try and tell you a little bit about it. I don't remember the whole thing, but I do know some things. I know they woke up in the morning, went out for a hunt and right on the dirt road, which was about 150 yards away from him, stood the buck that he's been after for a long time. And finally, he was able to get the shot off and he got him. And he came out hauling 150 yards out across this uh, grass CRP field. My brother shot three, four times and the last shot hit him right in the neck and dropped him. What a cool buck. Honestly, in my opinion, this is probably the coolest whitetail that I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, I have a 13 pointer, which was pretty awesome too. But this buck here, I mean, it has a third main beam. A lot of you guys were saying that the other day we took a shot at that stag and the reason that we missed it is because we were zeroed in for 160 yards. Well, I got news for you. We just took a shot right there at this doe. She's out there laying at 390 yards. Now take a look at our rifle. What is it zeroed in at? That's our 30 odd six. But what is our 300 zeroed in at? 160 yards. So the reason that we didn't get that stag the other day is because he was in fact bulletproof. It wasn't because we missed him. It was because he was legit bulletproofed. Because now we're zeroed in for 160. If we hold for the high spine shoulder, we can still compensate for that. And that's exactly what we just did on that doe. Do you see that right there? That is a vital hit. Let's pick her up. 390 yard, perfect heart shot. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a decent buck right there. 180 yards out, but there's also another good buck right there. We can clearly see this is a really, really good buck here. So what I want to try and do is take him down second, but I really want mine getting this deer too. It's going to be a super tough shot. But we did get it. And I believe we got another white tail buck out there as well. This one's about 300. So what we're going to do is bust out the 300 Magnum and try and take down both of these real quick. I honestly don't know how that thing didn't drop from getting hit by a 300 Magnum, but uh, yeah, it didn't. Ooh, we got another really, really wide buck out there. Oh, hold up. There's actually quite a few bucks out there. There's a giant right there. Really thick, pretty tall buck. So yeah, there's definitely three good bucks there. We got that one there, that one there, and then the big buck in the back. So obviously we're gonna take the one in the back first and we'll try and take down at least one more as well. Hold up, there's even more back there. See, you always gotta be careful about what could be back there. And in this case here, that very well could be a great one. We can't tell yet, but there's definitely two deer back there. There's a doe right there. And there's another deer behind it, which I can't tell what it is. But anyways, I think we should be safe to be able to take the shot. Oh, the first shot we, uh, Missed. Well, there she is. We've been seeing her for the last couple of times we've been hunting here now, and every single time she somehow manages to escape. 
But this time, that's not happening. Oh no. All right, so we're actually gonna try something here. And we have her out there at about 200 yards out. I wanna see just where we might hit. Look at those two tracers right there, right above her. Oh my God. We barely, barely missed her. The first one barely missed. The second one shot a little bit too high. I'll be honest about that, but I don't know if we can get her at this point unless she calms down. Hopefully she does. All right, let's actually try for one more shot. We're looking at 185 yards. That's money. <laughs> we drilled the tree right next to her. Oh my God, we barely missed her. Wow, we are all over that thing. Well, that's gonna be a pretty interesting shot. We have to go over the top of that one in order to hit the pie ball, which is right there. And we pretty much don't even really have a shot opportunity here. So that's her right there. We got her. We got her. All right. Now we're shooting the 300s. Actually, no, we're not shooting the 300s. Now we are shooting the 600 grain arrows because I didn't really want to mess around too much with this one. And no matter what, wherever we hit her, it's going to take her down. So even if we hit her far back or whatever, which clearly we didn't really make that good of a shot. And the fact that there's an arrow here has me a little bit concerned and also oh there's some blood we got some blood here all right i'll take it what are it very low so yeah i think we hit her probably back in the hind quarter or something like that but either way we definitely got her now before we get too carried away with tracking her down what i want to do is go over here and i saw a very impressive level seven not too long ago so we're gonna go over here in hopes that maybe we can find that stag that's not even the one I was talking about. What an impressive rack on that stag right there. Holy, what a beautiful level seven. That is the one I was talking about, actually. So now we have two giant level seven stags out here, 350 yards out. I do believe we could probably take both of them down, actually. For surely, we're going to take this one down. We're going to take our time and make a perfect shot at about 350 yards. Beautiful shot right there. And where did the rest of them go? Oh, right there. What a cool rack on this guy. Okay, the first shot was definitely going to be spinal cord. But the second shot, I do believe we got vitals because the percentage is going down nicely. Ooh, very cool. And he's down. All right, so we should be able to go over there and pick up both giant stags and our rare piebald. As we took that first shot there, I wasn't exactly sure where we hit because once we took the shot, our stag bolted. And as you can see, we definitely have a nice vital hit though. Okay, we got blood going this way. So he had to have gone up this hill. Yep, there he is laying right over here. Hopefully we can find our pie ball as well. It might be kind of difficult to find her, not going to lie about that. But here's our incredible level 7 stag. I just can't get over this rack every time. It just makes me so happy. So let's pick it up. A 209 gold and we got a single lung shot at 350 yards. And we got something laying right here, which honestly, I thought he went a little bit further than that, but apparently not. Another beautiful level seven stag, a 205 gold, and yeah, the first shot hit him right in the vertebrae, but we did in fact save him with that second shot on the run at 337 yards and tucked it in there perfectly and got a nice right lung. I really hope there's another track somewhere because if not, yeah, I don't even know like where she might be. Where might she be? 
There we go. Oh my god, I think I found her. Yeah, we found her, guys. There she is laying right there. Can't miss her. Whew, that was tough. I honestly didn't know if we'd find her because it seemed like we were running out of tracks. But here she is, the rare pie ball that we've been wanting for so long now. This is our third attempt at trying to get her. But she is a stunning looking. Let's pick her up. There she is. We took her at 90 yards out and she's a rare piebald red deer female. Anyways, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.